Hi, I'm Bill Myers and this is another one of my video tips of the week. You know in a previous tip I showed you why it's legal to use video from Google Earth Pro in your video productions, especially those on the web. On the Google permissions page they have all the details. If you're producing videos, especially travel videos or tourism videos, using Google Earth Pro helps viewers of the video quickly identify where you're located and that's why I've used them in a number of my videos. Now, if you don't have Google Earth Pro, it's a free program and you can find it at google.com slash earth. When you get there, download Earth Pro on desktop. Once you've downloaded and started up, it's going to look something like this. And to find places, you go up in the search box and you enter the place that you're interested in. If you do find a place, you can add a pin to it, which makes it show up on the screen. And pins show up like in your My Places chart over here. Once you do find a place, go ahead and zoom in on that place. The way you zoom in is that you click it. Let's go down here to one that I found recently, the Crater of Diamond State Park. And you can see that Google Earth zooms in into the Crater of Diamond State Park. There it is right there. If I wanted to create a video about the Crater of Diamond State Park, which I've, I have actually done, I'd want to use this Google animation so that people would see where it is. So to do that, what we're going to do is zoom back out. I'm just using my scroll key to back back out of that. And to record that video, all I have to do is go up to the little camera right there, the little camera icon. And you can see that when I do that down here, it puts a record icon. There's a, a rec the red record button and a microphone. It allows me to do voiceover if I want to, but I don't really want to do voiceover. I just want to zoom in. So what I do is I can click the record button. And once it starts recording, I can go ahead and click my Crater of Diamond State Park. Now, the thing is, you can go to multiple places while it's recording, but we're just going to go to this one place. So I click it, and it does the zoom in for me. And that's where I want to end it. So to end it, I come down and press the record button again, and it's done. And it's going to play it back, and there's the zoom in. Now that it's played it back, I want to save it. And I just click this disk icon, and I'm going to give it a name. I'm going to call this Crater of Diamonds, and then click OK. Now, the thing is, is, it really hasn't created a movie. It's just created a tour. And to create a movie, the first thing you have to do is to close your tour creator, and then go up to Tools, and choose Movie Maker. Notice it automatically preloaded the last tour that I created. Before I tell it to create the movie, which is this button right here, I can set the video parameters, so if I want this to be 720 by 1280, I can choose that, or I can use the drop-down and choose any other settings that are available there. I think I want this to be HD 1080p 1920. I have to choose where I want to save this to. I'm going to click Browse and save this to my videos. I'm going to click Save. I've set the picture quality to be high, and I'm going to choose the file type right here. It can be a M4V, it can be WebM, it can be WebM again, it can be Windows Media mp4 jpeg I'm gonna go for mp4 and then click create movie and it's gonna take a while to create the movie depending on how fast a computer you have and how many places you have in your tour once the tour is complete you'll have the video file that you can use in your video editing program so as I said the steps are pretty easy first thing you do is you do a search and find the place you want to do uh, once you've done the search add it to one of the folders over here it doesn't matter you can put it in temporary places or you can put it in your favorite places or wherever you want and you can have a number of different places that you can do in your tour and then you click the little camera icon here to start the tour and then on the camera icon you click the record button and then you click the places that you want to tour when the tour is complete you click the record button again to end the tour you give it a name and you close the tour and then you do what we've just done then and that is to click the tools and make movie Anyway, thought you might be interested in knowing about this. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find more like this at www.bmyers.com.